What's up guys, both on back again on some more LEGO DC Super Villains. And you already know we got your boy Peacemaker here in honor of the new Peacemaker TV series. I was just deciding like, hey, let me go ahead and try to make Peacemaker. I honestly should have made him a long time ago when the Suicide Squad came out. I really wasn't that long ago, actually, about a couple more. Alright, anyway. I think I did pretty good on this custom. I think it came out amazing, actually. One of my best customs so far. I know a lot of people on YouTube already tried to make them, but you know. I tried to put my little spin on him, and I think it came out a lot better than some of the other people's. I'm not trying to brag or anything, just saying. But if you guys think it looks as good as I think it does, let me show you boys how to make him. There's actually a lot of media coming out that I'm looking forward to watching. The new Peacemaker series, the, um, the new Spider-Man movie, the new Matrix movie. Spider-Man into Across the Spider-Verse. Not into the Cross, just Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, and the new Sonic movie, which Knuckles' voice, mm, a little sus about it. It doesn't sound like Knuckles. kind of sounds evil. sounds awesome, but it just doesn't sound like Knuckles. We're getting off topic here. Let me show you boys how to make Peacemaker. So, for the head, you're going to go for a custom head. And you're going to go for a custom head. Uh, as I was saying, you're going to go for custom head 28. Make it normal skin color. And like for the wrinkle color decals, make it this brown color. Make it look a little natural, you know, like a real human face, even though, you know, Lego people don't. Okay, anyway. Reason I like Peacemaker every much because John Cena's playing one of my favorite wrestlers. Kind of sounds a little cliche because, you know, he's the face of the WWE. Well, at least he was the face of the WWE. He's, he's getting rusty. His hair is weird. We're getting way off topic. For the body, custom body, you're going to use custom body one. Make it red. And make like the, the the muscle detail dark red. And for the wait, wait a minute, for the logo, you're gonna choose Ultraman's logo because it kind of looks like a little bird symbol that he has on his chest, kind of, but not really. It's the closest I can get to it. For the arms, you're gonna go for sleeves. Make them red and make his skin color right there. For the hands, you're gonna make it blue because he has blue gloves on for the whips he has like a utility belt kind of like batman so i went for the adams it kind of but it looks close enough to the utility belt he's wearing so just get adams um hips and make them blue the same blue that you made its gloves and he has like some kind of khakis on with black boots so i went for the closest khaki color i could make it so i choose khaki and then make it this color, this color right here, for the boots, just make it plain old black. And that's it for Peacemaker's overall body. Doesn't really have any effects. I mean, if you want him to have effects, you can give him effects. But he doesn't really have any because he's just a really skilled, like, I guess, assassin, really. The same as Bloodsport and Deadshot, pretty much. All for the abilities. Wait, actually. First, you're going to give him a weapon, you're going to give him a gun. Like, he has this really long silver looking pistol it's a really cool looking pistol i don't know what you actually call the pistol but this looks close enough to it it's a very long pistol well that's not a pistol it's just some kind of rolling pin on the on the handle but we're not going to get into detail just make it that color make it the same color you made his helmet god dang it did i even show his helmet no i didn't i almost forgot his helmet for the helmet forgot his helmet completely for the helmet you're going to go for flash helmet the flash movie helmet not not comic book flash, you're gonna go for movie flash helmet, make it that color. Then for the other side, like the golden parts, you're gonna make it white because it kind of blends in with the uh, that part. It's the lightest silver I could find. I almost forgot about the helmet for a minute there. Anyways, what was I on the pistol? Yeah, make it the same color that you made the helmet, uh, that color. And that's it for that. Then go back to the abilities. For the ability, just, just keep it normal, nothing really. Did I give him a hold? Give him a boomerang? Does he have a boomerang? Pretty sure he would have a boomerang, right? Oh, no. I, give him a boomerang if you want, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give him a boomerang. Is he, he's supposed to be like a highly skilled marksman. I'm pretty sure he would have something he would throw at you. I don't see him using it in a movie. At least I don't think I saw him using it in a movie. I don't know. It's been a, like a couple, two months since I watched it. You're going to give him some explosive. Give him the only thing you can't give him a pie. Just make it white. Because he does have some explosive. And it kind of looks like the clay thing that we're using to blow up the, um, 
Jotunheim. Weird building for a name. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you could give him a drone. Nah, I'm not gonna give him a drone. I would have gave him a sword, but I think his pistol looks much better than his sword that he uses. And that's pretty much it. Give him destroy mode. Nah, 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 nah. We're good, bro. We're good. We're good on that, bro. Uh, for double tap, don't give him hyper jump because he doesn't have superpowers. But do, do give him a double jump, though. Give him double jump four because he does a backflip. And that looks awesome. That's not even a backflip, you idiot. It's a front flip. Uh, for triangle, don't give him grow because he can't grow. Mm, that's it for the abilities. Now, give him a grapple because... I'm pretty sure he can grab on. I think he used it in, in the thing. Actually, I don't know. Give him the standard grapple color. Made the grapple gun the same silver. He made his um gun. Because I don't know what else color to give him. Give him techno access. Uh, acrobat. Tracking. And illumination. Because why not, you know. For the tracking, just make it white still. I don't know what else color give him. I'm pretty sure he could track you. Now, no, 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 no. I'm about to press randomize. For the health, uh, standard, of course. Just make it red. Make whatever voice you want. Uh, give him Mercy Graves. Target, because it looks like a gun. Aiming. Normal speed. Animation. Give him martial arts, because even though he has a gun, when you actually punch people, he's going to do the martial arts. And, you know, he's a highly trained assassin, man. I'm pretty sure he does know martial arts. I think he did use martial arts in the movie too. He's not a hero, he's a villain. He's kind of, he's kind of a secondary antagonist in the movie. Wait, actually, what do you call a third antagonist in the movie, Cunts? Pretty sure Starro's the main antagonist. Amanda Waller, the secondary antagonist, he's like the third antagonist in the movie. At least in the final act, he is. Anyway, that's gonna make it it for Peacemaker here, boys. And Go test him out against a policeman. Get my way, big guy, if I shoot you. So you see, when you actually punch, stop shooting the man and punch him. Okay, he just wants to shoot this poor big guy for some reason. Who is that? I see him in a story mode, but I have never seen him in any type of DC comic I've read. And I've read quite a few DC comics. <laughs> Why is he running so fast? Okay, keep on running, Peacemaker. I can get, if I can get a selfie with the American flag and Peacemaker, that would be so cool. Hold on, let me, let me, let me flip it. No. Oh, ah, that looks pretty cool. You know what? I'm making that thumbnail. Thumbnail right there. That's the thumbnail. Alright. Sad thing is he can't really fly though, so I gotta painfully slowly walk over there. I can just hijack a car. I can just spawn my own car. Car that we got. I'm gonna use a bumper car. On this day, I'm gonna use a bumper car. Don't judge me. It just broke. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I'm using a bumper car on the highway. Not really the highway. Whatever you call this little tunnel system thing. Anyway, boys. I'm about to go ahead and wrap this up. and get some police on me. Let me continue to shoot this guy for a minute. Let's call it away. So look at that. He does martial arts. It looks so sick. The martial arts fighting style looks awesome. I think you're going, buddy. All right, there's the police. You want to shoot, huh? Well, I'm the one character that's gonna shoot back. Don't mind that shot, though. Or, or, Mercy Graves. Or, d d just forget it, man. He, he shoots. Toss his bombs at him. You can throw your boomerang. Get back, shoot. Anyway, boy, that's gonna wrap it up for this Peacemaker video. I hope you boys enjoyed that. I think he came out pretty well. A pretty well solid custom. 
don't know why I still has the bomb for that. I mean, I'm not complaining. You know? At least he gets to like aim at his bombs, man. Anyway, boys, I hope you enjoyed this custom. Are you boys as hyped for the Peacemaker TV series as I am? Because I really enjoyed the Suicide Squad. Especially the moments with Peacemaker. So, tell me how you boys feel about this custom if I did good. And uh, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.